Hey guys, welcome back to Team Performance TV. Today we're going to clean my personal car. I just bought this and I haven't touched the inside yet. And you can see it's fairly clean, but the seats are dry and it needs to be detailed. It's a 2015 Audi S3 and it looks like the previous owner took decent care of this thing. Today I'm going to show you how to clean and prep leather seats for some conditioner because as you can see these seats are really dry. Leather is just like your skin, well it's cow skin so it needs to be moisturized. If you don't moisturize it, it'll crack, it'll fade, it'll rip and these seats look expensive, I don't want to be buying these seats. Before I vacuum, we're going to dust out the seats, all the creases, any crumbs we see it's going to get brushed out. This is a regular cheap Amazon brush, it's nothing crazy. I have a mild case of OCD if you didn't know already. Well, a white speck or any kind of speck on a black seat will show up and it will annoy me. I'm wiping the interior down with laundry detergent and water. That's it. Nothing, no harsh chemicals because yet again it's leather. We don't want to dry out the seat any more than it already is. And laundry detergent smells good. You also want to wring the rag out pretty dry. You don't want excess water around any of the electronics. These things can get expensive. I'm going to use the Adams interior detail brush with the soap and water just to get in the creases. It works and it helps out a lot and it's soft, it doesn't damage or scratch any of the plastics. To prevent water from staying in any of the creases that I couldn't see, I got the blower just to blow it out as a precaution. Volkswagens and Audis are very finicky, we don't need any issues. A lot of people forget to clean inside these side vents. Dust and dirt builds up in there like everywhere else. This little brush really does a good job. The cup holders were probably the dirtiest part of the whole car, so far. I accidentally hit the button and the screen came up. This looks like I'm using a lot of water, but it's just really foam. And here comes the blower again, just in case. Taking your time and detailing your car can be therapeutic. It does help. Just like anything else, if you do one side, you have to do the other. Now it's time for the seats. I got some clean water and laundry detergent again, because the dashboard looked clean, but it wasn't. These seats were so dry, it looks like nobody ever put any kind of conditioner on them. This is Adam's Polish's large cockpit brush. I kid you not, that's the real name of it. I'm gonna add a link to it in the description. It's really soft, it doesn't damage the leather. Any kind of interior pieces you need to scrub, this is what you wanna use. After scrubbing, you want to wipe off the excess foam and water that remained. You can buy dedicated leather cleaners, 
but everybody has a laundry detergent, so why not? It does the same job. This brush is great for speaker grills. It doesn't matter if it's plastic or metal. It'll take the debris out and leave you with a spot free finish. I used the blower to blow out all the excess foam. Look how clean this thing got. After I finished in the front driver's seat, I moved to the back. It looked like nobody ever sat in the back of this thing, so it was very easy to clean. You'll get to see the outside of the car in the next video when I do the exterior detail and paint correction. It took almost no time for these seats to dry up again. It was amazing. Normally you'll have to wait a couple of minutes to start putting the conditioner down, but this thing was almost instant. Can't forget the rear of the seats. This front seat had a white stain on it. I don't know what it was, but watch it disappear. Boom, no more steam. You can't forget the pedals. When it has grooves like this, all kinds of dirt and nastiness gets caught up in it. I don't like seeing dirt and debris everywhere, so I had to clean it. The car came with some carpeted mats, but we live in the Northeast, carpet doesn't work out so well, so I got these Audi all-weather mats from the dealer. I could have gotten the WeatherTech mats for cheaper, but they fold after a while and they start looking really old and ugly. Before we do any of the leather, we're going to use Adam's interior detailer on all the plastics. This one's eucalyptus mint scented, the one in the last video was cedar. They both smell great and they're both the same exact product. The Adam's interior detailer doesn't leave a super glossy finish or any grease. I hate using products that leave your dashboard feeling greasy and sticky. It just irks me. It may look uneven here, but when it dries out, it dries out perfectly flat. I'm using an old t-shirt as an applicator because I don't like the applicator sponges. It just soaks up all of your product. The interior detailer doesn't leave any residue on the screens like some other products would.
This whole job probably took me like two hours from start to finish. A lot of people don't have the time or patience to do this or even access to the tools and chemicals that you need. So that's why you bring it to me. I treat your car the same way I'll treat my own car. Here comes the sock again. Don't judge me. It works. Try it. I'm using Chemical Guys leather conditioner. It has vitamin E infused into it. It leaves a nice scent and it soaks into the leather really well. This also dries off fairly matte and it doesn't leave a greasy finish. Who remembers back in the day when they would armor all the seats and when you make a left turn everybody would slide right. Car detailing products came a long way since then. I don't think anybody uses that kind of stuff anymore. I've gotta polish my knob. Now onto these seats. You'll see how fast the product just soaks into it. That line on the seat is just the glare from the light. Throughout the whole detail, I was using my underhood LED light inside the car just so I don't miss any spots. The leather itself gets softer after applying this conditioner. It soaks up and it just makes the leather a whole lot healthier. Just like your skin. Here you can see a side by side comparison of before and after. Like how much better the driver's seat looks. A very minimal amount of product stays in a sock. This is what makes it so much better than using one of those sponges. Here we go, this is what it's supposed to look like. You can see the steering wheel has dried. It's got a semi-gloss, sort of matte finish. The seats are still wet, but it's gonna look just like how the steering wheel looks. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe guys if you made it this far. 